Hi, Bolo here with Real Time Horsemanship. Today's subject, saddling your young horse for the first time. Today we have Lanny, she's a two-year-old unbroke little filly, and uh, we've had a couple weeks of, uh, of groundwork, but today we're gonna put a saddle on her, or attempt to, for the first time, so you just start learning to wear it. So, uh, saddling your young horse for the first time. Here we go, we'll be right back. Hi, Bolo here with Real Time Horsemanship. Uh, we all know that saddle fit is very, very important to our horses. This is Montana. For the longest time, uh, I was going through stock saddles, saddle pad combinations, and I was constantly calling Kyra out to work on him. Uh, finally, I said enough. I contacted Troy Mask out of Lakeland, Florida. Troy came out, measured Montana, uh, built the rest of the saddle to my specifications. That's been about three years ago now. As you see, it's a well used saddle. I used it quite a bit. And ask me how many times I've had to call Cairo out in the last three years. Zero. So a good fitting saddle is worth its weight in gold, believe me. So, want a good custom saddle? Call Troy Mask, like in Florida. Polo. Okay, we're back. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, putting a saddle on your, on your young horse for the first time. All right. right off the bat, I want to say that uh, I always do this really in the round pen. There's a much better place to do this. I do it all off lead. Uh, I'll bring the horse to the center, uh, center after a, a little bit of workout, which I'm going to do anyway here. Uh, get them, uh, let them rest when they're resting in the round pen next to the saddle and pad that always sits in the middle of the round pen. So just let them be a place of rest so they get used to that, that equipment. And then uh, again, no halter, no nothing. I have them stand still and I start desensitizing to the pad and the saddle. Get the saddle on in the round pen, no halter. And then, uh, and we have to get the cinch to a certain, uh, certain snugness so the saddle don't go, go sideways. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute with that. And do that a little bit of time. And then once I get the saddle on secure, then I just turn them loose, go back to working them like I normally would in the round pen. That's a much uh, easier, safer way to do this. But uh, most people don't have round pens. And so I'm gonna demonstrate you can do this in just an arena or a nice safe area or in a pasture somewhere that you can uh, safely uh, have some good footing and can do this with your horse. Okay, okay so we're gonna be in the arena today. And again, this is, uh, uh, back up, back up. This is Laney. She is again, she's back up. Back up, there we go, let's go. She's a two year old little filly. We've had about eight or nine sessions on the, on the ground with her, just enough to kind of get her where we can handle her okay on the ground, move her around. Uh, she's uh, right at two years old and she's a good size, she's built well, but uh, in our opinion, she's not quite mature enough uh, to ride, to put it, our weight on at this point. So we're going to, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get the saddle on. Matter of fact, if you have a young horse, even as a yearling, you'll your hindquarters, thank you. Even as a yearling, I saw so many times I'll get a, a bareback pad, and you know, that's the weight that I'm worried about. So use a bareback pad, let them get used to the sensation on their back, let them get used to the, let them get used to the, uh, the pressure where the cinch goes. There you go. And just start letting them wear that. And again, the, Matter of fact, when I get through this, this session here, this video, uh, I'm gonna turn her loose 
uh, take the, the halter off, let her just wear the saddle for a few hours. And going forward, she's gonna wear it quite a bit until it becomes just a part of her normal daily wardrobe. So going forward, she's gonna wear she's gonna be wearing a saddle almost I'd say 90 percent of the time uh, until she is uh, mature enough we can put our weight in the saddle and of course we'll get on her. And by that time, a lot of our work will been done for us. All right, come on around, come on. Like I said, she's not perfect on the ground, but she understands well enough. Okay, so you go to the hind quarters, come to me, please, ma'am. Always want a horse to come to me. I want a horse to back up properly. That was it. Much better. Very good. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, then we'll come up and I'm gonna bring her up to the saddle. I'm just gonna stand here for a bit. Okay. Uh, now she doesn't seem to have an interest in this at this point, and that's okay. I would like to see them uh, investigate the saddle, and if they do, let them. As long as they want to smell this saddle, let them. Let them be as comfortable around this saddle and this pad as much as possible. Okay. And this particular saddle pad, the pad, normal pad. The saddle is a nylon saddle, so it's not a real heavy, uh, no breast, uh, breast collar, no back cinch. A very simple cinch. That's what I'm going to use today for her. Uh, and then we gotta, we get her on. So just have her stand here, and, just, and let her relax. Work her somewhere and let her relax, just like any scary object. Uh, anything you want to desensitize them to on that particular thing, work somewhere else. Bring them over and let them rest next to the object that they don't particularly care for. So that's kind of the way this works. All right, I'm gonna let her stand here a little bit. Okay, very good. All right, uh, and normally I might work her a little bit more, but she seems kind of relaxed. She got to. Depends on the horse. If they're still nervous about it, I'll work them more, work them away, relax here, work away, and relax here. There, she kind of wants to look at it a little bit, and that's fine. So, okay, she seems to really don't care a lot. So, in this case, I may go ahead and kind of go forward with her just a little bit. So, I'm going to keep my stick handy. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, set yourself up. I think like you're going to pick up their feet, sort of, sort of speak. There we go. There we go. Let, let her smell it. And then just bring it up next to her, just like this. And again, I, this is not rehearsed. I have no idea what she's going to do. Uh, the client, she, she wanted a video of the first time. I said, okay, might as well make it count. Put it on. Now we're good. Don't sneak around. Don't go, now, don't move, don't move. I'm, I'm going to put this on. Don't sneak around. Just take it and throw it. If they react to it, then we'll keep working on that reaction. But just throw it on like you're normally going to do it every day. All right. Just like that, okay? So, so far, Petter, she's doing pretty good right there on this side. Very good. Now what I'm gonna do, and, I, and I'm gonna try to do my best to keep everything in the camera shot. I'm gonna turn, there we go. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Again, set yourself up where if she gets excited, you still, you still, in this case, you got a hold of her. And the round pan, she runs off, that's no problem. I'll just, things will fall off on the ground and I'll work her more, and then I'll bring her back and let her rest where the saddle and pad is. And we'll repeat that until she starts to fall in love with the, with the pad and the saddle. There we go. Okay, well, you're doing pretty good. I promise you this is the first time for her. I got witnesses. So she's doing pretty good with this so far. All right, very good, very good, very good. Okay, I'm gonna go with that right there. All right, bring you back into center just a little bit. Again, I'm gonna try to keep her in the camera, center of the camera. So again, it's just an old cheap nylon saddle I use for training. They, that way if it gets broken, I don't care. You never know what trains of things. So I'm gonna come up. I'm just gonna bring it up to the side and let her, let her. Okay. Not too bad. Throw it on, see what happens. And again, I'm, I've got a good, I've got over here with, with, uh, with a rain just in case. All right, all right. Now I'll take it off. Okay. Now I'm gonna come to this side and do the same thing. Just kind of up next to her. Let her feel it. Let her feel it. Okay, now I might just throw the whole thing over, see what happens. Oh, so far so good. She's making me look like a movie star here. Good girl. Alright. And uh Again, <laughs> she's doing really, really well with this. This is the first time she's had this on, okay? But the day's still young here. All right, and again, be very careful. Well, next thing I want to do, 
Right now, if she kind of gets crazy, a horse gets crazy, and they do quite often, the saddle will just fall off. It's not a big deal, all right? But once you get this cinch on, and I always recommend a very long billet here, so I got plenty of room to work with. Once you get to right about, right about here, and always, see I'm standing back, you never know, uh, she's doing well. Some horses, they come unglued anywhere along this line right here. So you want to be ready right here with your with your lead if you're if you're working in the open. So what I want to do right now, as quickly as possible, is get this cinch on, not tight, but just snug enough. Well, that saddle doesn't get under her, doesn't rotate around and become unsafe for her. So so far so good. All right, just a little bit snug there. Okay, so it's not real tight, tight snug, but it's snug enough. I feel like the saddle's going to stay on there. Okay, again, you need to be very cautious about this because uh, horses they can be real calm just like this and all of a sudden they just kind of come unglued so all right now what i'm going to do be very careful because when they start getting nervous they can go most any direction now keep in mind she's had about eight sessions of uh, nine sessions of good groundwork so she knows her to stay on my space back her up same thing as i would if she didn't have a saddle on she said what is this thing on my back right now see she's not her mind is right now is like what is this thing you just put on me I just put, in the words of a, of, a, of a famous trainer, Buck Brandman, I just put the hide of a dead animal on her back, and she's going, this is not right. Very good. Okay, now what I'm going to do, she's not too bad. I'm going to relax her just a little bit here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just start moving her around just like I would on the ground normally. The only difference is, at this point, good girl, good girl, is there's a saddle on her back. Okay, so here we go. Go. And again, she's not going to know what to do because she got this thing on her back. And there it is. Oh, yeah, look at that. Like, I don't think I like this. Now she can feel it. So what I want to get her now, I want to get her to the point. Here we go. <laughs> I want to get her moving. I just want to get her moving. Come on. Here we go. Come on, you can do it. Just like I would on the ground. Send her around, get her moving on the ground. She knows it's all right, come on. Get her moving, feet, get those feet moving. Now don't take me out of the camera. There we go. Here, what I might need to do here. Come on back over here, we got my little girl. There we go. That's what I want right there. Just get her moving just a little bit. Do what it takes. Okay. And I'm gonna do my best to stay in the middle here. Good, right there. Good. That's what I want. Just, just go around me just like we did a while ago without the saddle. Well, now we're gonna do it with the saddle. Here we go. Keep going, thank you very much. A nice trot's what I want. Again, most everything I train is at a trot. That seems to be about the best, the best gait and speed for them to learn. Okay, now I'm gonna stop her. Go up hind quarters. That's pretty good, because a lot of times they stop paying attention to you, start worrying about the saddle. So you have a diff uh, difficult time sometimes directing them. But right now, she's actually doing very good. And she's going, I'm not quite sure I like this. <laughs> now, normally, normally, I put pressure on them. When they start getting ugly, I call the, uh, the cardinal sins. Rearing, bucking, biting, uh, striking, all these things. I really put a lot of pressure on them, discourage that. But in the very beginning, I'm going to forgive that because this is brand new for her. So I'm going to go ahead and, and plus, I don't want this thing with a saddle to be stressful on her. So I'm trying not to apply any more stress than I have to, just enough to get her going. That's all. And so a little stress as possible is better at this point. There. Because I really want her relaxed. That's good right there. And like I said, I have to switch sides, of course. She's going, well, let me think about this. 
There, now we're better. And now this is the very first time. In my opinion, she's done. She's doing very, very well for the first time. Most horses are a little bit worse than that. Some come completely unglued. Uh, but I think really this is a little bit of a testament to the groundwork. If you do really, really good solid groundwork ahead of putting a saddle on, you'll find this a lot easier. Okay, a lot easier. And uh, so actually she's doing pretty, pretty darn well for a mare. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Just trot around me just like you would without the saddle. Okay. I'm going to let her come around again. And again, yield hind quarters. Try to get her to keep her mind on me, not so much the saddle. There we go. She's actually making me look pretty good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you have my word, this is the first time she's ever had a saddle on. So she's doing pretty well. So I'm gonna let her move around a little bit and then I'm gonna yield her up. Bring her up to me, come to me, please ma'am. Okay, now, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let her rest just for a minute. So thank you very much, you did a pretty good job right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the saddle now and I'm gonna cinch it up just a little tighter, okay? I'm going to slowly increase this pressure. There. There. Quite a bit tighter now. Okay. That, this is going to be a little bit different sensation to that. So, again, back her up. All right. Get ready, and we'll send her again. That seemed to went better than expected. With it, I, I tightened the cinch quite a bit. Very good. Okay, now I'm gonna next time around I'm gonna yield those hindquarters and change directions. Very good, good girl. There we go. Okay, for those of you who expect me to be drug over into the next county, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but uh, she's actually doing pretty well. Again, uh, I can't emphasize enough good solid groundwork uh, ahead of each thing that you do. So some good groundwork before you put the saddle on. It goes a long way, trust me. Okay, I'm going to yield her up again. Very good. Bring her to me. Okay, she seems to be doing pretty well right there. Very good. And again, I'm going to come up and just relax her. Say, good girl. I think she did very well. Very well. I think she's going to take this pretty well. That was a a good transition into the saddle so like i said now when we get i'm gonna finish this video and then i'm just gonna turn her loose i'm gonna work some other horses and she'll be out here for another you know three or four hours just just i'm gonna take this halter off let her just hang out here and wear the saddle and going forward that's what she's gonna do so if you got a young horse and you introduce the saddle the first time again do it very slowly introduce it in the beginning the approach and retreat i did uh with the pad make sure they're good with that and then the saddle and at any given time they're not then just simply take them out work them on the ground uh, improve your groundwork come back and do it again just remember just like trailer loading or anything else you want to keep this as relaxed and stress uh, stress free as possible when you put the saddle on because uh, uh, when you start stressing a horse out then uh, things don't always go in a good way so okay so there you go so you, can, you can get this done in arena online if you have to uh, when you introduce the saddle pad for the first time uh, to your young horse. Uh, thanks for watching. Bolo, real-time horsemanship.